can't imagine it ended well for whoever lost all this blood. Do you like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. This stain's almost gone. dried not too long ago. We gotta dump this garbage. Papa Brute will be here any minute. Yeah, top marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two. Just like the old days. Whoa, what gives? I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. Just calm down. No need for violence. Funny thing. I found a dead woman in your basement. Now I don't suppose you had your men kill her. Quiet, you! You're scaring Mary. Look, she didn't die by my order, kid. Take my word for it. And the guilty have already been severely punished. Look, I have my shortcomings, but I don't hurt women or kids. Goodbye. How are you doing, handsome?
whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. <sighs> the door won't budge. Ah, <sighs> it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh, it stinks. Angles is going on. Where, where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some group who had to deal with the crematorium worker. So, Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped.
Don't do that again. Hey, hey you! No loitering. Only workers are permitted on the premises. I could use some supplies. If you can spare them, that is. Here. Take some medicine. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Get a move on there. You're handing out supplies for free. That seems awful charitable. Mr. Carpenter is a pillar of our community. Generously donating half of our supplies to the people of Oakmont in their time of need. Bye. Not so fast, newcomer. You ain't going upstairs unless the boss calls for you. And I don't see that happening.
Ah, please, friend. Don't take away my food. Your food? This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. M me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. And look, we'll starve to death without it. Have a heart. I don't get it. You can have food for free. The carpenters are distributing it. So why steal? They'd only give me one portion. Even though I told them that my wife and kids are too weak to get here. Don't worry. I... I get it. Look, uh... Hang on to the sack for now. I'll try to work something out for you. Okay? Oh... Oh, thank you, mister. K bless you. You're a lifesaver. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. There's a... a minor issue. What? W what issue? Well, the sack was stolen by one of your workers. I tracked him down so he's not going anywhere, but... I'm trying to decide what to do with him. Damn thieves, where yeah, take them? I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle. Huh. Now weren't you the one who called Robert an ape lover, Brutus? Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no, sorry. Ah, well move on then. Bye. Yeah, 
Hey, you don't get these for staying in your foxhole. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. How can I help? One of your workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. Is... is there a way to solve this peacefully? The guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine too. Can you give him this? It, it's not much, but it'll help. Uh, no offense, but why such generosity all of a sudden? I mean, this distribution of supplies. I hope to set an example for the other influential families of Oakmont. Together we can make our city a better place. Besides, after the incident with the poisoned fish, people were left with nothing to eat. I had to take action to prevent starvation. Thank you. A mask? Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it, if you don't mind. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, uh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime and needs more rest. Goodbye. What you making, kid? Me again. Hey, you can relax. Everything's been taken care of. The sack is yours. Oh, bless you, sir. My little ones will eat today because of you. Look, I talked to Carpenter about your situation. He said to come by whenever you've a need. He'll do right by your family. Really? I, I didn't know Mr. Carpenter was so generous. That family sure has changed. Thank you again, friend. You said the Carpenters have changed. What were they like before? Uh, uh... Hey, you can shoot straight with me. It's alright. We'll keep it between us. 
worse. A lot worse. Criminals and murderers. Rumors are their boss, Brutus, defiled several women and got away scot-free. Terrible. People call them a grand family. Their word is law in Oakmont, along with the Throgmortons and Blackwoods. Tread carefully with them. Hey, listen. I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Okay. What is it? Carpenter wanted me to give you this. Kay bless him and his generosity. Please, send him my thanks. I pray that Kay grants me one more day. What you making, kid? Something wrong. Don't you have work to do? Yesterday, we're beating up newcomers. Today, we're hiring them. So what's gonna happen tomorrow? Okay, I'd kill for a good fight. <laughs>
Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> James Warren, right? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? Well, we could go a group of people brought an unconscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. What well, makes you think I'd know that? You got hurt that day. That's why you're in the hospital. The man you were supposed to burn knocked you out and escaped. Horse feathers. I hit my head. Fell down the stairs. You were supposed to cremate a man listed as Jack White. He escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me, who paid you to burn a man alive? How do you know about White? I talked to him. I need names, Warren. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. I'm toast. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. No, please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but they ain't from St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? That's all I know, I swear. Where can I find this church? I don't know. Some things in this borg are best left alone. It's not much. But thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. Bye. Oh, oh my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. Oh. 